Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see what the cards have for you at this particular point in time. Just reminding you all that this is a general reading. Um, but if you find that the messages are resonating, if you find that you're connecting with the reading, then um, it may be that the message is meant for you and you were meant to come across it. Otherwise, for those of you that prefer or you want a more personalized tarot reading, feel free to reach out and email me. My email is going to be listed below. It definitely has this feeling of a wish coming true, an intention that you put out there um, or that you put into the universe. I feel like it's coming true for you, something that you've been wanting, something that you've been desiring very strongly. I think you know what this is. This is something that I feel like you have put your whole heart and your whole energy into this very thing into wanting this person or into wanting this dream or this goal or whatever this intention is you don't just half want this you want this with all of your soul and all of your being and because you want it so much i feel like for to the person that i am connecting to right um, you want this thing so much but again you're only human so there were times when you were you showed resistance there were time when there were times when maybe you could have walked the path of least resistance but instead maybe you showed up in an energy of fee or you showed resistance to whatever this is maybe not intentionally either right um, but it feels like over time you have somehow managed to learn to lower your resistance you have somehow managed to really focus on attracting or manifesting the life or the thing that it is you want right and um, it just so happens that the universe is ready to align you with whomever or whatever this is um, it may come out of the blue right notice this color symbolism this news or this opportunity or this communication from whomever this person is it may just come out of the blue for you but the thing is behind the scenes the universe was working very hard to align you with whatever this wish or this goal or this intention of yours is. Um, so Nine of Cups is definitely, um, it's a Law of Attraction tarot card of the deck, and it's definitely a wish coming true, an intention or a manifestation. There's something that you want, and the thing is, you're like lining yourself with whatever this is. This is also an energy of alignment. I feel like you are getting closer to whatever or whomever this is. Um, and again, there may be there may have been times in the past where you thought like it wasn't going to happen for you or there may have been times in the past where you thought like you know this was too good to be true um or you know it's just not happening for whatever reason um and you may have had those thoughts but i feel like you quickly shut them down or you quickly kind of you know reframed those thoughts and here you are perfectly aligning yourself with whatever this is it does have this energy of it getting closer there's also this excitement or this buzz or this energy in the air um, I feel like a lot of you are kind of feeling it you're feeling that you're so close or you're feeling that whatever this is you're getting so much closer um, I feel like there's also exciting news or there's something here that's happening for you and the page of cups this is an energy of you being ready to embrace and accept whatever this is there could be someone new who shows up in your life as well around this time someone who is connected to this wish or desire or this manifestation of yours there could be someone who is coming back into your life um, and if that's the case if this is someone from the past they're showing up as a renewed version of themselves so they're showing up as an improved version of themselves so um, there's also travel being denoted here or there's an energy of you moving some of you could be relocating maybe that was one of your wish to go back to um maybe a place or a home or you know a country or a house you are you once lived in some of you are relocating maybe you're uh, relocating jobs um 
some of you are going to be tra doing traveling but again whatever this opportunity is with the page of wands you know whatever whatever this form shows up in understand that this is closely connected and closely aligned to what or who it is that you want um, so say yes to any opportunities because i feel like there's a connection there right and if you dismiss the opportunity you don't know what it is that you could be saying no to you could very well be saying no to the desire or the wish that you want so make sure you say yes make sure you stay open is another energy uh, is another message and the page of ones is a very exciting energy even take a look at his posture right he's not slouching he's not fatigued he's not tired he's definitely you know it doesn't look like someone who's not bothered he looks excited it looks like he's ready for um you know to embrace you know whatever lies ahead of him in fact his body language looks very confident looks very enthusiastic looks very energetic and motivated i feel like this is a message for you to stay in this energy especially if you find yourself in this energy because this is the kind of energy that attracts some more of the good stuff that you want so if you find yourself um and some of you could just be you know stepping into this energy quite maybe even randomly you know you may find yourself just waking up and feeling really excited and motivated for the day um, maybe it's for no particular reason as well but for others of you i feel like there's some sort of purpose that you're attaching yourself to and i think it has something to do with this intention and you find yourself just being really excited really motivated i think that you have some plans locked in or i think it's this this like knowing right this inner knowing that something here is happening for you that it's all working out for you and it does feel very excited i definitely feel like you should like you should start preparing for whatever this is because the thing is the opportunity is showing up in your life and when the opportunity shows up like you want to be ready right you want to be prepared for whatever this is you don't on the other hand want for the opportunity to show up and you not be ready for it so I don't know whether this is like having to organize yourself or even having to step into the version of yourself that, you know, you already want to become. But this is, I feel like this is the universe's way of saying, you know, show up as a person you want to be or start making room in your life for whatever it is. Like start now. Don't keep putting it off. Um, you know, some of you are like, you might, some of you have been making the excuse like you're going to start doing this when and if. Or you're going to start being, being happy when and if, right? Start now. Start now with where you are, with what you have. Because I feel like this is a really great energy to magnetize and attract more of this stuff into your life. I think that there's something here that you've been working really hard for. Um, and something that you've been working... Um, maybe it's like you've been working on yourself, right? But there's something that feels like it's been a really slow process. Results are coming in something he is going to show up something that i feel like you've been wanting and you've been desiring and i do feel like you can feel that it's getting closer to you i do think that you can feel like the manifestation or the attraction of what or whom you desire is on its way to you the knight of pentacles is also a message and this is not for all but it's specific to the person that i feel like i'm really connecting to there is nothing wrong with routine okay some might even dub the knight of pentacles um, a little bit like i don't know boring or mundane but there is this there is a stillness and there is a sense of peacefulness in routine and predictability so if you find yourself um you know thinking that routine isn't like routine isn't um all that exciting for you right now um or that you feel like you have to get you know out of some sort of rut just remember that there is nothing wrong with having a routine and there's nothing wrong with things um becoming you know thing with things being predict predictable unless you feel like it's stale but if you feel like you know if, if you do feel like things are a little stale and a little stagnant and you need to get out of some sort of rut then that's a different feeling but for some of you i think that you have to think back to a time when life was a little bit chaotic and unpredictable and all of a sudden you didn't have so much routine like Think back to that time and you'll also remember you'll also note that it was during this time that you didn't have a sense of peace um that comes with that sense of you know routine or predictability so just you know just think on that for a moment the queen of cups um i feel like 
to the person that I'm connecting to. I feel like you're a very intuitive being and I feel like you really feel things very deeply. Um, there's so much going on maybe around you right now or even in the world. And so you could be feeling all sorts of things. Um, so the Queen of Cups, I feel like, is really... I think she's shown up here because she's trying to... I think what she's trying to say here is that it's you have to be mindful about what you're taking in. The things, you know, the people you spend your time with, the things that you spend your time doing, um, you know, are they feeding your soul? Are they nourishing your soul? Or are they doing the opposite? Um, if consuming too much media, especially negative media, um, is not doing you any good, perhaps it's time to stop that or reduce it, right? I feel like she's just, she's shown up here because I do think that there is some of you there are some of you out there who have been really taking on emotionally, like you've really been absorbing other people's thoughts and feelings and uh, their emotions and just the energies around you. And you don't even have to know these people. Like I said, it could have a lot to do with what's going on in the world too. Especially if you're like a water sign or if you have water in your chart and especially if you're like a Pisces or if you have Pisces in your chart, um, you guys tend to really absorb other people's emotions and their energy so it may just be your sign to be very careful and be very selective about what you're absorbing what you're you know um taking in and what you could perhaps reduce um or perhaps not give your time or um, energy to the eight of wands i really feel like this is your i feel like this is there's something about right now which is your time to be vulnerable this is really a good time to lower your resistance i feel like there's opportunities and there's abundance and i also feel like there's space for you to do some healing or there's space for you to work on yourself but that means that you have to confront some of these you know issues or these emotional wounds that need working on so this is really there's just something about the time right now and i don't know what it is specifically for you but there's something about this time where it's really a good time to be open and vulnerable and it is not seen as a sign of weakness right um so lower your resistance there could be someone new that shows up in your life and um you know especially to the person that has their walls built up really high i just think that this person that may be showing up in your life or this opportunity that shows up in your life will require for you to be a little bit more vulnerable um with you know whatever this may be but this could also be your this could also be a message and it could also be your like your sign to stand up for yourself a little bit more stand up for the things that you believe in say no when you really mean it don't say yes when what you really mean is no don't say you know you can help out when you really don't have the time or the resources to do that um so it's really about standing firm in what it is that you want it doesn't make you a bad person it by no means makes you a villain either so it's just like standing up for yourself right and you can do that like you don't even have to be rude about it you can do that in a very polite way you know um refusing something or being unable to help like you cannot go around and pour from an empty chalice like i feel like the message is for you to look after yourself first before you can help you know other people and there's a reason why they say that um on the airplane right if in, you know in the event of an emergency put your mask on first before uh, you're able to help other people so there's something about you right now needing to focus on yourself um, so that in turn you may be able to help and focus on other people you cannot pour from an empty vessel so fill your cup is the message that we get and the star card I do think there's some something very healing and something very um, therapeutic in the energies right now it could also be your time to look at something that like a wound that has reopened or is reopening and or there especially if you're getting any triggers activated around a certain wound or around a certain something it could really be a sign to heal whatever still is hurting or any wounds that are still bleeding and festering um, but i also feel like this is a message that to the person that feels stuck and to the person that feels like you know what you're doing is not really exciting it's a little bit dull it's a little bit boring and predictable 
perhaps you feel this way like if you ever like did you ever stop to think that perhaps you feel this way is because you're not necessarily doing what it is that you're doing like you're not fulfilling your purpose you haven't found your purpose you haven't just found your thing and you have a talent you have this innate talent within you and there's something that you should be doing like you are supposed to share this talent with us you're supposed to share it with the world but because you're not doing that you feel a little bit unsure of yourself you feel a little bit unhappy and you feel a little bit of stuckness to break through to get out of this you know feeling stuck or stagnated energy it's really important that you find your calling your niche your purpose you know you find whatever it is that speaks to you that speaks to your soul and there's something about you there's a gift or there's a talent that maybe you've inherited from your ancestors um perhaps from your mother your grandmother you, you know your father your grandfather there's something here that you have that i feel like is very special and unique to you maybe you don't realize it yet maybe you haven't found it yet maybe you haven't discovered it yet but when you do when you really do when you really attach yourself to it i feel like you're going to be reaching a lot of people um i really feel like you're meant for you could be meant for stardom you could be meant for um you know you could be meant like for reaching people connecting with people helping people um in the process so i think when you find what it is that's special and unique about you because there's something there i think for some of you that are listening to this i don't think you found it yet and that's okay don't be so hard on yourself you have it within you you can't lose it like you're carrying it it's in you you cannot lose it it's a part of you and so it's all about you know finding it discovering it or maybe you have found it and you just need to you know rediscover it so this these are your messages guys thank you for watching and listening please show your support to the channel by liking and subscribing bye for now